Ethereum's Rofson testnet has completed its merge. The first testnet dress rehearsal sets the stage for Ethereum's pending transition to proof of stake. Joining us now to discuss is Kevin Oki, founder of Gitcoin, an Ethereum-based network for growing open source software with incentivization me mechanics. Hey there, Kevin, thanks for joining us. Hey, thanks so much for having so me. Maybe we could just start off with, tell us what the Robson testnet is and the significance of this moment. Sure, well, uh, the merge is the long promised, but as of yet undelivered transition from the proof of work consensus mechanism to proof of stake for Ethereum. And the research researchers in the Ethereum community have been working on these multi-client test nets for many years. And the Ropston test net merge is significant because Ropston is one of the major test nets in the Ethereum ecosystem. And they successfully were able to transition it to the proof of stake consensus mechanism. And so all of the state and all of the D apps on top of the Ropston uh, testnet are now running via and secured via proof of stake. So that's significant because it means that uh, we're ready to move towards the mainnet merge, hopefully in the next couple months. And this is on the beacon chain that they merged with, which is a proof of stake chain. And so, and what happens next? Yeah, so basically the uh, researchers in the Ethereum community are going to be rolling out more multi-client test nets with more tests. And then what will happen is that there'll be an all core devs call in which uh, they'll make a call, a go or no go call on doing a hard fork into the beacon chain on the main net sometime, hopefully in the next couple months. But the Ethereum researchers are pretty famous about not dr promising specific dates. So it might be in a couple months, it might be more towards the end of the year, maybe even in early next year, is my personal opinion. And so is the idea that Ethereum, a proof of work chain, will merge with Beacon and uh, the proof of stake chain, and then it will be proof of stake? Yep, that's that's exactly right. The proof of work chain will go away, um, and the proof of stake chain, the Beacon chain, will be the primary chain that secures Ethereum. What does that mean for Ethereum in terms of developer activity, do you think? We've seen a lot of exciting activity on proof of stake chains that have been first to market. Uh, does some of that come back to Ethereum? Does that make Ethereum a more attractive place to build? And, and kind of, you know, what, what is, what's in your imagination? What does that look like? Yeah, well, I mean, as a builder at the app layer, you know, I run Gitcoin, which is an incentivization tool for open source software that's delivered $60 million worth of rewards to open source software. The real network effect for Ethereum is the EVM. The fact that I can write for the EVM and I can deploy it to many EVM-based networks, even that aren't Ethereum. And so I think what you're going to see is a lot of dApps that will deploy both to the Ethereum mainnet and to all of these other networks. And proof of stake is just kind of icing on the cake. It means that it's a little bit faster. It means that the economics are a little bit better, it's a little bit more climate neutral, well, a lot more climate neutral. And so I think that the EVM is the primary network effect that keeps me as a developer in that ecosystem. One final question before we wrap up. Um, I understand that you guys are working on sort of blockchain for good, and a lot of people say that, um, but what does that mean in your, in, your, in your case? Yeah, well, a lot of people may say that, but uh, Gitcoin has delivered $62 million worth of funding for open source software and adjacent public goods in the Ethereum ecosystem. We're the number one crowdfunding platform for the public good for impact in the Ethereum ecosystem. And what I see from my perch kind of on the frontier of this ecosystem is an ecosystem of impact DAOs that are working on everything from climate neutrality to uh, pulling people out of poverty to allowing people in uh, censored jurisdictions uh, access to more financial opportunities. And so impact DAOs is a category that I would not sleep on as we move into the next cycle. I think using Web3 for good and for impact is a slam dunk thing that we can do. After all, we have a transparent, immutable way of coordinating, creating this impact now. And I think that's one of the big promises of the blockchain ecosystem is for environmental, social good in the future.